We often rely on logic and reason to understand the world around us, believing that sound arguments lead to undeniable truths. But what if seemingly logical proofs could lead to absurd conclusions? Enter the all horses are the same color paradox, a mathematical conundrum that challenges our understanding of proof by induction and the limits of logical reasoning. In this video, we'll unravel this curious paradox, examining its origins, its flawed logic, and its implications for the field of mathematics and our understanding of the truth. We'll delve into the step-by-step -step proof that attempts to demonstrate that all horses share the same color, and we'll expose the subtle error that makes this conclusion absurd. Whether you're a math enthusiast, a logician, or simply someone intrigued by mind-bending puzzles, this exploration promises to challenge your assumptions and spark a deeper appreciation for the intricates of mathematical reasoning. And who knows? Perhaps by understanding the flaws in this paradox, you'll gain a sharper eye for identifying logical errors and a deeper understanding of the limits of proof by induction. The all horses are the same color paradox is a classic example of a falsetical paradox, a seemingly valid argument that leads to an absurd or false conclusion. This paradox arises from a flawed application of mathematical induction, a powerful proof technique used to establish the truth of a statement for all natural numbers. This paradox was first introduced by George Paglia in 1954, but it was popularized in 1961 through a satirical article by Joel E. Cohen. Cohen uses the horse's version of the paradox to humorously prove that Alexander the Great didn't exist and had an infinite number of limbs, highlighting the absurdity of the flawed logic. The proof of the paradox typically follows a standard inductive format, number one being base case. In a set containing only one horse, it's trivially true that all horses are the same color. And number two is the inductive step. Assume that in any set of n horses, all horses are the same color. Now consider it a set of n plus one horses. Remove one horse and you have a set of n horses, which by our assumption are all the same color. Now, put the removed horse back and remove a different horse. Again, you have a set of horses that are all the same color. Since the two sets of horses have one horse in common, all n plus one horses must be the same color. This seemingly logical argument leads to the absurd conclusion that all horses are the same color, which is clearly false. The paradox lies in the flawed application of the inductive step. While the argument holds for a set of two horses, it breaks down when we try to extend it to larger sets. The fallacy arises from the assumption that the two sets of n horses, formed by removing different horses from the n plus 1 set, must have at least one horse in common. This is only true when n is greater than or equal to 2. When n equals 1, the base case, there is no overlap between the two sets and the logic fails. The all horses are the same color paradox serves as a cautionary tale reminding us that even seemingly sound logical arguments can lead to absurd conclusions if they contain hidden flaws or incorrect assumptions. It also highlights the importance of carefully examining the conditions and limitations of mathematical proofs, ensuring that each step is logically sound and that the conclusion follows validly from the premises. The all horses are the same color paradox might seem convincing at first, but its flaw lies in a subtle yet crucial oversight in the inductive step. The argument hinges on the assumption that when comparing two sets of horses, each with one horse removed from the original set, there must be at least one horse in common between the two. This assumption is valid when dealing with a set of three or more horses. For example, if we have three horses, A, B, and C, and we remove horse A, we have set BC. If we then put horse A back and remove horse B, we have set AC. Both sets have horse C in common, allowing us to conclude that all three horses must be the same color. However, the assumption breaks down when we consider the base case of the induction, where we only have two horses. Let's call them horse A and horse B. If we remove horse A, we're left with only horse B. If we then put horse A back and remove horse B, we're left with only horse A. There is no overlap between the two sets, as each horse is excluded once. Therefore, the statement that the first horse that was excluded is of the same color as the non-excluded horses, who in turn are the same color as the other excluded horses, becomes meaningless, as there are no non-excluded horses to act as a bridge between the two sets. This breakdown in the inductive step invalidates the entire proof. 
The argument only appears to be valid due to this hidden assumption that doesn't hold true in the base case. The all horses are the same color paradox serves as a valuable lesson in the importance of carefully examining the conditions and limitations of mathematical proofs. It demonstrates how a seemingly logical argument can lead to an absurd conclusion if it contains a hidden flaw or an assumption that doesn't hold true in all cases. This paradox also highlights the power of critical thinking and the importance of questioning even seemingly obvious or intuitive claims. We ventured into the perplexing world of the all horses are the same color paradox, uncovering its flawed logic and the subtle assumptions that lead to its absurd conclusion. We've seen how a seemingly valid proof by induction can go astray when applied incorrectly, and how even the most rigorous logical reasoning can be derailed by hidden assumptions. This paradox serves as a reminder of the importance of critical thinking and the need to carefully scrutinize every step of an argument, even those that appear intuitively sound. It also highlights the limitations of proof proof by induction, and the importance of identifying the specific conditions under which it can be validly applied. If this exploration has piqued your interest, I encourage you to delve deeper into the world of mathematical paradoxes and logical fallacies. Explore the works of George Polia, Joel E. Cohen, and other mathematicians and logicians who have used paradoxes as tools for teaching and understanding the intricacies of mathematical reasoning. And who knows? Perhaps by studying these paradoxes, you'll develop a sharper eye for identifying logical errors and a deeper appreciation for the rigorous standards of proof required in mathematics. The all horses are the same color paradox may be a falsitical one, but the lessons it teaches about the importance of critical thinking and careful analysis are very real and applicable to many areas of life. Thank you everyone for watching. My name's The Big Why. Don't forget to drop a like, and if you're new to the Why Not family, a follow. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.